Hi everyone, this is PMH Skills Empowerment and Entrepreneurship Academy. Actually, PMH is the best place to acquire any skill of your choice. Our online training is also one in a million because we try as much as possible to share all the information that you need to succeed in any production. We ensure that all the chemicals measurements are displayed on the screen so that even if you are a complete beginner, you won't find it difficult to make quality productions, okay? So stay tuned for today's training. Hi guys, you're welcome back. In today's online training, I'll be showing you how to make a high quality insecticide at home that could be used for the killing of both flying and crawling insects. Okay, to make a liter of insecticide, I'll be using the following chemical. The first chemical here with me is kerosene, followed by industrial camphor. You can use the regular camphor if you do not have industrial camphor. Next chemical is diclovos. Diclovos. There are different types of diclovos. Today I'm using sniper. Next chemical is formalin. Followed by IPA, isopropyl alcohol. And lastly, I have eucalyptol. This is optional. I'm using it just because of the color. You can choose not to use it. Okay. Now the first thing I'm going to grind my camphor into powder form since I'm not using industrial camphor. Alright. As you can see, I'm done grinding my camphor and I've put it in my mixing bottle. If you are making in a large quantity, you can use a bigger container for easy mixing. I'm using this bottle because I'm making little quantities, just a liter. So the first chemical here is kerosene. Gradually pour the kerosene into the camphor and give it a good shake. Make sure the camphor is completely melted and thereafter add every other chemicals one after the other. The last chemical with me here is the IPA, isopropyl alcohol. In this production, isopropyl alcohol serves as a binding agent. It binds the chemicals together so that there won't be any separation. So after this last chemical, all you need to do at this point is to give it a good shake and your insecticide is ready. 
so at this point if you are making it for commercial purpose start packaging and you know introduce it to people to your friends and neighbor and trust me whoever buys it will always come back for it because it is very very effective and if you are making it for personal use pour it into your spray bottle and use it and trust me you will not buy any other insecticide from the markets because this is very very effective even the color is so attractive but you can choose to do yours without the eucalyptus okay so with this we have come to the end of today's training thanks for being part of today's class I really appreciate you all and please do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much once again and see you in my next video bye bye